Hey, welcome back. And today our topic is can machine can machines learn Kusso effect from the data from data. So my short answer is yes. And why I I think it's the answer is yes. Uh, a lot of people actually argue that uh, uh, machine learning models uh, are not able to learn Kusso effect because they will not be able to distinguish. Uh, co-occurrence and the uh, Kusso effect and for example if that's uh, if that's it's raining so it's cloudy or it's cloudy it's raining this is like we saw we, we call Kusso effect what cause what effect and uh, for, for, for in a common sense it's because it's really cloudy then the cloud make it rain right then the human basically most of uh, humans understand this Kusso effect but uh, this kind of Kusso effect for machines is really hard to learn because they when, when you kind of look when the machine learning model look at the data they only always see it, oh when it's cloudy it's it's also raining right you, you couldn't understand which happened first but this just because of the nature of the data they kind of data they kind of lack of the time axis if you edit this kind of time axis, the the model will will know that always it is cloudy first, then it rains. The model will will learn this Kusso effect. And uh, my another argument is how humans learn Kusso effect. Actually, how we learn that we we, we kind of learn it from a lot of uh, observations, experiments, right? If we want to know if it's cloudy, the cause causes the, the rain then we will uh, make it cloudy and uh, to see if it rains or uh, we could make it rain and uh, to see if it causes the cloud cause it very cloudy I'm, I'm not really sure that's a good example but but I think you get what I mean so it's basically if humans can via can can learn kind of Kusso effect via observation the machine should also learn via observation from the data right because actually how we do observation is we observe the environment and this kind of observation can also be compressed as the data so so if, if machines learn from data machines should be able to learn from observations then then therefore can learn this Kusso effect so there's no point that machine couldn't learn the Kusso effect just to, for the current machine learning models those kind of model architecture are now really a uh, good at learning this kind of Kusso effect or they can actually learn but it's very inefficient we just need to figure out a better way to represent our data to represent our world to represent our uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, observations in the data so the machine can learn and also we need to improve the machine uh, learning algorithms objective training objectives or the training the process they kind of stuff so the machine can learn yeah, this is definitely it's the kind of the weakest point one of the weakest weakest points in the current uh, machine learning systems and uh, once we can kind of improve these kind of things um, machine can learn the crucial effect very very uh, effectively but definitely once machine machines can learn this kind of crucial effect their intelligent level will increase really fast and that's probably the next wave of the AI um, revolution. I will, I will, I will say. And uh, yes, for the current AI situation, it, the current state of the art model is really hard to learn these kind of uh, things. And I do think that's because we don't have a good way to represent our world, uh, to represent the, uh, the situations of the world, so that machine can make the observations uh, easier. So definitely this involves to depending on what kind of machine learning algorithm you are using. You're using supervised learning, unsupervised learning or like reinforcement learning. But this is just I I just discussed this topic in a high level. Because human learn this crucial effect from from the world, from via observation. And we can also make the world uh to represent our world in via data format so the machine can learn. So there's no reason machine couldn't learn. This might viewpoint and, and then this is a very interesting topic let me know let me know your thoughts if i miss something and uh, maybe some people think machine couldn't we never learn 
causal effect from the data. Um, the, yeah, that's a very interesting uh, topic. So leave your thoughts in the comment section below. And uh, if you would like to receive more uh, machine learning topic discussion, don't forget to subscribe. And other than that, I will see you next time.